Aloha. I'm having some kind of trouble with my phone and my tripod. The phone keeps like popping out of the holder. So if it suddenly comes flying at me, you know why. It, the, the holder is like a clamp and it just sort of keeps tightening down or something and the phone slips out. I think it may have been the the phone case I had on it is too like slippery on the edges or something. So I took that off and I'm gonna see if this works. Fingers crossed. Um, I also, this is like not my day because I've been trying to sit down and do this. Here it goes. Oh, I can see it tilting. Okay, let's try again. Um, I've been trying to sit down and do this for I think four days now. Um, it's a follow-up to the immunotherapy study that I posted. I was going to go back and check my account and see when I posted this. Uh, I think it was a week or two ago, probably two weeks ago. And in that report, I said there was going to be a follow-up. That was immunotherapy on cancers that did not include breast cancer. And they were doing a study on immunotherapy for breast cancer, which they said they would be posting in the middle of October. And they did. And so this is that portion of the study. Uh, immunotherapy scores first win against some breast cancers. That's the title of the article. And this actually appeared in our local newspaper, the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Um, they picked it up from the Associated Press. And the study was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And so this is where immunotherapy drugs um, were used against breast cancer. And like I said, I've been trying to post this for like four, or film this for like four days now. I had the report all printed out. I had everything that I wanted to cover highlighted. And now that I have time to sit down and do it, I had forgotten it at home. So I'm, you know, on my lunch break and I'm trying to do this and I had to reprint it and now I don't have my highlights. So I'm winging it here. What else is new? Okay, so these drugs called checkpoint inhibitors, which we know about this. The guys won the Nobel Prize for it, you know. Um, so they remove a chemical break that keeps the immune system from killing tumor cells. Um, but until but they work on what they call hard I can't remember they're called hard cancers um, cancers that target um, like bloodstream and things like that not soft tissue cancers like breast cancer and so now they're trying to test for the soft tissue cancers such as breast cancer and this study was tested there are other studies I guess but this one was from Roche, or let's see, this new study tested one from Roche called Tecentric, which Roche is a drug company. Their drug is called Tecentric. So this test involved the drug Tecentric plus chemo versus chemo alone. So they did, you know, the drug, the immunotherapy drug Tecentric and chemo and then they did a group with just chemo without the tocentric. So, um, and this was in 902 women with advanced triple negative breast cancer. Now, I had, I don't have triple negative anything. I'm, you know, I have like, um, I think mine was negative plus plus or plus plus negative, I forget, but it was like two pluses and a negative so, and it says about 15% of, of breast cancers are triple negative. So, and their growth is not fueled by the hormones, estrogen or progesterone, or the gene that Herceptin targets, which makes it harder to treat. And so the woman in the, the women in the study who received Tocentric plus chemo went two months longer on average without their cancer worsening 
compared with those on chemo alone. Two months. For me, that's not, that's really not worth it. But for somebody else, it might be everything. You know, if you're talking about like a new mother or something, those two months could be ultimate joy in heaven. So, but you know, for me at my age, two months, especially when you hear the price of the drug. Um, so the combo did not significantly improve survival, um, but now you're, we still have, they still have to do long-term. You know, this is just like short-term benefits really. Um, previous studies found that immunotherapies work best in patients with high levels of a protein that the drugs target. And the plan for the breast cancer study called for analyzing how women fared according to that factor if to centric, yeah, to centric improved survival overall. But the drug, the drug failed the test. So um, researchers are still looking at protein level results and see encouraging signs. I don't know, two months. Um, Women with the high women with high levels, high protein levels, I think it is, um, who received the combo treatment lived roughly 25 months on average, versus about 15 months for women given chemo alone. Okay, so t they live 10 months longer. At my like I said, at my age, 10 months it's like just do me in. I don't care. You know, get it over with. I, I'm, you know, but that, like I said, that 10 months to somebody else could be a lifetime gift. So it really depends on your life situation. Um, let's see. And then they said it will take more time to see if there's a reliable way to predict benefit. Um, Let's see. Do do do. Sorry, without my highlights. <laughs> um, side effects need a closer look. Um, nearly all study participants had typical chemo side effects, such as nausea and low blood counts, but serious ones were more common with the combo treatment, and twice as many women on it stopped treatment for that reason. Okay, so if they're stopping treatment, I don't know, you know, it, it's like, okay, if they didn't stop treatment, would they live even, you know, 15, you know, instead of living 10 months longer, or what did they say, 25 months, 25 months longer, would they live, you know, 30 or 40 months longer? I mean, that would be something to look at. Um, but if the average is skewed because women are going off the drug because of the side effects, I don't know. Um, three of the six deaths from side effects in the combo group were blamed on the treatment itself. Only one of three such deaths in the chemo group was. So that sounds like, uh, it, it could be that the, Side effects are worsened with the tocentrics, I said tensin, tocentric, tocentric, than they were just on chemo alone. Um, or it could just be they happen to get those, those three in that group and not one in the other group. It, hard to tell. Um, cost. Tocentric is $12,500 a month. A month. And if you think about it, okay, to, to centric is $12,500 a month. The chemo in this study was $3,000 a dose. So if I apply that to how I was given chemo, 
I was given chemo every three weeks for four treatments. So that's at three hundred or three thousand dollars. That's twelve thousand dollars for total chemo for the drug itself, not including doctor and hospital fees. You know the the, the clinic fees and all of that. Um, so. But those four took three months, so you're talking $12,500 times three plus another $12,000 for the chemo plus hospital or clinic administer, you know, the the fees to administer the chemo and the Tocentric and whatever. That's a lot of money. If, if it wiped out your cancer and you it gave a you know like a 100% survival rate, <laughs> would be worth it. But to increase your time span by 10 months or 25 months don't know that that's worth it. Um, not when all you're going to be doing is paying medical bills for the rest of your life, basically. Um, or, you know, that your survivors are going to be paying your medical bills for the rest of their lives because it was so freaking expensive. Um, I, you know, if it's not going to do that much good, it's not worth the cost. Um, but then again, I'm not of the mindset where that 10 months or 25 months is going to make that much of a difference in my life. So, that's the study. <laughs> Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think they're going in the right direction. I don't think they're there yet. Obviously, if it's going to cost you, you know, $30,000 or more just for three or four months of treatment, and actually that would have only been three months of treatment, you know, and actually more than $30,000 because the Tocentrix itself is going to be thirty-five, almost 40000 oh, I can't do math anymore. Oh. Um, so you're talking like closer to $50,000 to extend your life 10 months, maybe 20 months. That's more than a year's salary for me. So, no, it's not worth it. Ah, uh, no. Um, yeah, like I said, I think they're headed in the right direction, but they have a lot of work to do. Um, I, I just, you know, that when I think about the cost of that, when I think about the cost of any of these drugs, it just amazes me. And then you get like the whole Shkreli thing where, you know, they raise the cost of these drugs, you know, this much so that they can profit. You know, they raise them this much so they can profit that much when the drug only costs this much. And, uh, you know, and it, it's not just, and you know, Shkreli was the prime case example. It's the drug companies all do it and they spend all their time in R&D and don't get anywhere. And the FDA requires all this testing and all this stuff that, you know, we could have had drugs out on the market that 
have been proven in Europe and in Canada and but they don't allow them here because they require all this testing that takes 20 years to do. And then they still recall them because something goes wrong. And so why not just get them out there? If they've been proven somewhere else, just get them out there and get them working. And if somebody wants to do a um, a non-proven drug why can't the the insurance companies allow it you know maybe with some sort of disclaimer or something that says you know hey don't sue us if it goes wrong and you know instead you're stuck and you have to pay cash if you want to do this new miracle drug that they're working on and uh, uh, the whole insurance medical system and drugs and, uh, it, mm. sometimes I do wish I lived in another country I you know America has a lot going for it but at the same time we just it's like we poison ourselves so another rant for another day <laughs> All right, well, I, I don't know what else to say about that study. I, I do think they are going in the right direction with the immunotherapy. Um, sorry, there's a weather disaster thing. Okay, it was just like nothing. <laughs> um, but I do think they're going in the right direction with immunotherapy drugs and hopefully they can get something off the ground that will actually make a difference and not just by a few months, but by years. You know, if they can say, yes, you'll live five years longer. So, I guess that's what we think about the immunotherapy drugs. <gasps> But as I was saying, um, if they would, if the drugs would say you'll live five years longer, then that would be something more beneficial than just saying you're going to live 10 months longer. So we'll keep an eye out and see what they come up with. And there are a couple more things that have come up in the news the last few days that I want to share with you. One is a, um, it's like a cancer uh, research thing that you can join if you have certain types of cancer. And so I want to get that out there. And then there was, what else? Sorry, I'm looking past at my computer to see if I can remember what else I had. Um, there was some sort of other kind of cancer study, something, I can't remember what it was offhand, but I'm going to get something on that. So, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.